hi friends welcome back so in this video i'll be discussing about uh, various uh, testing roles available in uh, software testing industry especially the roles such as testers senior tester test lead and test manager these are the four roles which i'm going to discuss in this video i'm also going to discuss about what each person is going to do in this role what are its uh, roles and responsibilities uh, in this video so let's uh, go by one by one what are the various different aspect which i'm going to discuss is first one is uh, experience level normally the software testers who are got hired at the entry level are a junior level which is uh, zero to three years of experience who is a software tester and the second type of role is senior tester this resource is more of uh, experienced tester who is having three to five years of experience in uh, software testing field and test lead uh, again is experience resource who is having a five to eight years of experience and uh, another role which is test manager which is highly experienced leadership role who is having uh, uh, eight plus years of experience and if we are uh, talking about uh, responsibilities the responsibilities of a software tester if you can see right the responsibilities of a software tester will be executing test cases most of the time if it is a simple application you can write the test cases himself as a tester from zero to three years of experience otherwise his first job would be more of uh, executing the test cases senior tester who will be writing the test cases as well as executing the tests as well as part of the senior tester role and from test lead point of view, you will be designing the overall uh, test plan as well as mentor the people and also you will review the test cases as well as part of his day-to-day uh, -day activity. And as a test manager, you will oversee the overall testing processes and uh, test strategy. From, from test design perspective, test uh, or whoever the new joiner, you will just follow the test case and you will execute and senior tester you will be creating as well as referring the test cases based on the review comments and test lead you will be coming up with the test strategies checklist for review and uh, for creation of the test cases as well as execution as well by the test lead and test manager you would be more of a designing overall strategy as well as policies uh, for that uh, given testing project from uh, defect Reporting point of view, the testers will report the defects once the resource start executing the test cases and senior tester, you will also report the defects after executing but you will also provide a detailed analysis if required. Sometime we may require to do root cause analysis for a given defect to identify why these uh, kind of issues are coming in the system where that senior tester will do all these root cause analysis for a particular defect and test lead will be more of coordinating the overall uh, defect management uh, perspective from uh, testing side for across tester senior tester as well as with the developer and uh, test manager is more of a escalation mechanism for defect management and uh, you will oversee the defect management processes as well if there is a deviation that is where the test manager will come into picture to define the defect management processes as well from team management perspective tester normally won't be having any team and uh, they don't play any role in the team management even senior tester too he doesn't have any testers under him and supervisor normally they will have five to ten resources or whatever right one or two resources also sometime you will also call it as a test lead where you will have few resources under him where test lead will supervise that uh, tester and test manager again will have multiple test leader under him and again he will be managing the overall uh, testing team as well that is from team management perspective from technical skills perspective tester normally will have all the basic knowledge in terms of all the testing tools basic understanding on the software testing processes and uh, uh, both from manual as well as automation perspective and senior tester again he will be experienced person he is having a good amount of experience in handling uh, various test tools manual plus automation and also you will be more technically hands on skill as well as a senior tester and uh, test lead will also similar to senior tester but uh, he comes with a very solid uh, in managing uh, supervising people coordinating with the testers and get the things done uh, from technical uh, point of uh, view and uh, test manager again he will also be more uh, technical plus managing people with in terms of uh, technical uh, knowledge 
getting the issues solved from technical perspective and as well as he will also be expertise in uh, relevant testing tools so that uh, if any problem comes definitely he should be able to solve uh, some of the majority problem of uh, software testing uh, area next thing is from leadership skills perspective tester may not require uh, too much leadership skills because he will be a more of a individual contributor there even senior tester too may not be required a leadership skills uh, but uh, test lead would definitely require to have a leadership skills because under him uh, senior testers will be there testers will be there and also he will be required to coordinate with uh, different test leads and uh, development leads and developers and other uh, business analysts or scrum masters so that uh, he can get the things done from his team because of that he should have a good uh, leadership skills and test manager again from his role perspective you should be having a very strong leadership skills as well and uh, you should be very strategically thinking uh, from uh, his role perspective and from documentation perspective what kind of documentation uh, tester normally do is more of a basic documentation will be writing maybe some people will execute some people will write the test cases uh, from tester point of view again senior testers also you may come up with uh, some of the documents uh, which is uh, detailed enough if you can write the documentation detailed enough that would be very good uh, for senior tester from test lead perspective he should be able to write the test plan again you should be able to send the daily status reports across stakeholders in terms of progress of the testing test manager uh, role is you uh, should be able to write the comprehensive documents reports escalations and uh, issues uh, and mitigation plans from his uh, documentation perspective and the next type of aspect which we are going to look is uh, problem solving the problem solving for tester if he is having a skills which is even bare minimum basic things still it is relevant for tester but for senior tester because with the given of three to five years of experience he should be able to solve the advanced problems as well and uh, even uh, test lead too and from test management per per perspective he should be more of a strategic problem you may not solve all the problems uh, within the team but you will be looking more on the strategic perspective on the given overall project and you will come up with the solution so that you can discuss with the various stakeholders and communication perspective uh, tester should be able to communicate whatever is finding like uh, in the defects or in the test cases he should be able to come up with uh, any issues and uh, tester definitely should have effective communication skills uh, so that he can write the right test cases you can listen to the uh, business analyst or developer to write the test cases so that you can gather enough information to write the test cases review the test cases uh, from that point of view communication skills are very important for a senior tester and from a test lead perspective again this role will definitely ask for uh, strong communication skills where he has to interact with various stakeholders internally as well as external to the organization and uh, again test manager will be more handling uh, solving issues resolutions definitely he should have a strong edge in terms of uh, communication as well and uh, next one is in terms of decision making the testers normally may not be doing any decision here if they just follow the instruction from uh, senior tester definitely they will give inputs or contribute uh, for making a decision and test lead uh, they will be collecting all the input from senior tester and they will try to provide inputs or contribute inputs to the test manager who can take up the major decision at uh, project level that is from uh, decision making point of view and uh, mentoring perspective tester may not be required to mentor anybody because they are just uh, juniors uh, zero to three years of experience but senior tester definitely they should have skills of mentoring uh, junior tester and test lead again they should have a knowledge on how to mentor the testers provide guidance on regular basis get the things done from test lead point of view and test manager you should uh, mentor test leads as well as senior as well as junior testers as well again from uh, process perspective testers they would just follow the process which uh, they already brought in into the system and senior tester were more on advocating the process improvements suggesting uh, on the any improvement required on any testing processes and test lead uh, role is more of ensuring uh, what kind of process they should follow how they should follow everything uh, it is up to the test lead to 
when so and test manager more of defining on optimizing the overall uh, testing processes from risk assessment point of view tester may not be involved in doing risk assessment and senior tester is more of identifying and evaluating the risk and uh, test lead more of assess the risk and provide mitigation for those issues as well and develop uh, test manager would do more of developing overall risk management strategy so that uh, that can be identified assessed as well as mitigating uh, those risk uh, the overall plan should be provided by the test manager and uh, the from client interaction perspective tester may not uh, you know, work closely with the clients on day to day basis and uh, senior tester they will definitely they will work with the client to get the clarification because we we'll have to write the right test cases uh, in order to execute and test lead uh, more of a relation or a bridge between a client and to the uh, organization and test manager again he was a key poc contacts with the clients for any escalations or any issue so that uh, he can get the things done from the team as quickly as possible from project planning perspective tester may not uh, do any planning or uh, anything there but uh, from senior and senior tester he will be providing inputs to the planning and test lead is more of assisting in uh, developing a project planning to the test manager again test manager is more of uh, putting a right test plan test strategy from test management perspective and a resource allocation perspective tester may not involve in allocating any resources senior tester definitely they will put a input because based on the complexity of the test cases based on the challenges in the testing project they will uh, come up with the efforts based on that we can definitely we can allocate the resources for a given project and uh, test manager definitely whatever the inputs which has come from the senior tester and test lead based on that he will uh, come up with the optimization for resources as well and from testing uh, metrics perspective tester may not involved in any collecting any testing metrics but uh, senior tester do definitely track and analyze uh, this testing metrics uh, on regular basis and uh, even test lead will monitor the metrics for quality because once uh, metrics are defined uh, which is done by the test manager normally all the metrics uh, which will be get defined based on the client requirements or the organization perspective based on that uh, test manager will define again test lead will coordinate with the team to gather these uh, test metrics and uh, the track on regular basis and from uh, tool evaluation perspective testers are not really involved much there but in senior tester they they involved uh, in uh, tool analysis uh, which are required for a given project and test leads uh, they will participate evaluate as well as implement the testing tools and uh, again test manager they will oversee the tool selection again budget required implementation everything will be looked by the test manager and uh, from stakeholder management perspective normally testers may not involve uh, and, uh, no involvement with the stakeholder management the senior tester will have again a limited interaction with the senior uh, leadership and test lead again you will uh, you will work with stakeholders regularly because uh, he has to send the progress of the testing uh, across various stakeholders internally as well as external to the organization so that is when uh, test leads roles in comes into picture and test manager again he was a point of contact for all the stakeholders on for escalations the next aspect uh, is performance review perspective uh, performance management for the resources within the testing project testers may not be involved in any performance review if it is 360 degree then uh, testers might also require to provide inputs but if it is otherwise if it is otherwise uh, more uh, which is not applicable for tester and senior tester definitely participate in the providing input for uh, tester and test lead again uh, he will do uh, partic- he will participate he will provide the feedback to uh, for his senior tester tester to test manager so that uh, test manager will do a complete evaluation of all the resources and uh, put the career development plan for all resources under him that is uh, roles and responsibilities